MAP testing is used to help gauge where students are at at, their, at a kind of a picture moment. And if they take it seriously, you can usually find if they have missing gaps and where they need to kind of start for that year. And we do give MAP three times a year, so we're able to see their progression throughout the year. For math specifically, I'm able to look at their MAP data and prescribe a pathway for them using Odysseyware. And Odysseyware actually does it actually for me. All I have to do is, you know, look at their data in there and it shows where they uh, mastered certain material and where they have struggled. By doing a good job as, as the, the best they can, um, they're able to exempt work in the classroom that they've proven that they understand. And because there's no use in repeating and being bored with stuff that you know how to do. The period is open for um, students to, if they're absent or sick for some reason. Also, if everybody tries to get on at one time, the bandwidth is overloaded and you can't get in. So it, it allows teachers also the flexibility of planning. For each content, math and science, you're constantly moving on to new um, concepts within your units and so therefore you need to look at that different data that's coming in for that particular unit. So it's not just a one-time look at and then forget, it's a constant. And especially once you start getting multiple data uh, points, then you can start comparing them and figure out you know, a better way to help the students.